Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Club Plus series. We are jumping in again. As you can see, I'm already on a character reroll because I am doing back-to-back -back recordings today, which is something I haven't done on Isaac in some time. But we're playing as Tainted Samson here, which is a character that I haven't played as in a little bit of time. So I'm glad to be playing as him. We can go Dark Path or pretty much wherever else we want with this guy. So we will see what, um, what way the wind takes us. Unfortunately, not an ideal start. Um, we also have this little this little number, but I do like this guy. He's pretty fun. He's pretty cool For the question of the day, let's do something Isaac related today. Oh, ooh, very very good Very very good something Isaac related today. It's probably something that I've asked before But um, if you could see a theme that is uh, used in Isaac be expanded upon into like a new floor a new boss a new set of items or anything What would that theming be? What would be something you'd really like to see within Isaac? Really taken as an idea and kind of utilized a little more. Because right now I think there's a lot of things that do get underutilized um, and do get not quite as much um, representation in the biblical sense or just in, in the fun sense as they could. That did not work the way I was hoping it would. I thought it would uh, jump on through and hit that guy, but apparently not. Yeah, there's definitely, I'm going to say, for me, there's definitely a few angles that I think really could be explored more. One of them, for me, um, is I really think that they kind of missed the shot, at least somewhat, with the, like, biblical sort of part. Biblical. What am I on about? Everything's biblical. The, the angel. The sort of, the angelic parts of Isaac. They do have some strong angel-theming stuff, and it, it is carried out in in different parts of the game. It's not just used once or anything. But I still I still do think it's a part of the game that oh you gotta be kidding me. I committed so hard then and failed. Really? Really now? Don't like this guy. Um I do still think it's a part of the game that is surprisingly not really touched on too much. And considering like it be I know it's it's kind of become I wouldn't even say a meme, it's just it's just become like a, a more well-known thing recently of like the whole biblically accurate angels. I don't know how many people have seen those animations or photos of um of the new things, new sort of rend I wouldn't say new, but the the newly seen renditions of these biblically accurate angels, which are basically like amalgamations of feathers and eyes in like weirdly rotating positions and stuff. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was terrible. You gotta be kidding me with that. Um, yeah, they got like weirdly rotating body parts and they're always flying and have like one giant eye and a bunch of feathers and stuff. They're really insane looking and obviously I think one of the reasons that wasn't explored as much is because at the time it wasn't as big of a thing. I don't know why I did that. I don't have a key to open my item room now. Um, it wasn't as big of a well-known thing back then uh, when Isaac was first made and first conceptualized. But it's something that um, that I think is really, really interesting. And it would have been it would have been cool if Isaac was kind of one of the first games, one of the first bits of media to really adopt that idea of these biblically accurate angels and kind of take it into full force and make one of those into a boss. And it's kind of sort of surprising that because of how big it's been as of late that we haven't really seen mods adopt that. I'm sure there is one out there. I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm ignorant to one uh, mod or boss or something out there that uh, that takes on the form of these biblically accurate angels, but it'd be, it'd be super cool to see. And I think in general, there's just probably more they could do. I know some mods expand on it. Like, is it, I think Mastem is meant to be a fallen angel, and there's a few other different sort of angel-related things in there and in mods, but I don't know. It'd be super, super cool to see more of that sort of taken to the forefront sometimes. I really like that sort of stuff. Like, I'm not a religious person at all. Like, I've never been. I never will be. I, it's just not It's just not something I believe in. Also, we've got buttermilk, I think, this room. Yeah, it's just It's just not not for me, really. And I, I take no offense to people that um, that do believe in it. You believe in what you want to believe in. That's fine by me. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I can't remember where I was going with this. Oh, but that was it. Uh, but I do find, like, the lore of, of, of the religious texts and stuff kind of interesting. There's a lot of, like, really, really crazy stuff in there that's, like, some of it's a bit bonkers. Um, but none of it's, like, none of it's, like, completely... I know. I won't say none of it's completely outlandish. Some of it is, in my opinion. But it, it still, it kind of it has... They have a lot of really interesting and strong themes and really, um... 
really intriguing different sort of ooh. I'll take it for the for the thingy, but I don't actually need it because I've got this. Um, there's only yeah, there's just a lot to kind of go at and a lot of different things that I feel like Isaac, considering it's a heavily religious inspired game, doesn't touch on as much as you maybe could. And I feel like that's obviously kind of partly where a lot of mods end up sort of coming in. I think um, that's rather nice. I think a lot of mods obviously tend to try. It's not it's not every single time, but a lot of mods tend to sort of try and, um, do you know what, this this guy needs to die. Tend to talk, try, sort of try and stick on the religious theme somewhat. Some of it's, it's, some of it's a bit loose, some of it's a bit more strictly following. Ooh, I forgot we had spin down shards unlocked. Hell yes. Oh, is that it? I mean, I got a spin down shard. I'm pretty happy. Does spin down shard have EID descriptions yet? I can't remember. Let's go and quickly check on the book. I'm not 100% sure, but the book could be an interesting one. I really hope it does because I don't want to have to go and Google it, but I, I will go and Google it if I need to. Okay, no, it does. We could get Steam Sale. Hmm. Steam Sale early. Let's check our shop first. We could get... Pluto, is that? Is that Pluto... Is that Pluto? I think that's Pluto. Hmm. I don't know if we have the ability to grab that. Um. I think I want Pluto. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that actually fell outside of the room there. Is that a red heart? It is a red heart. Dang. I think that's worth it, you know? I think that's worth it. It's not like the craziest spin down of all time, but I think to spin down that and get Pluto, which gives us a good tears up, and the shrink, which admittedly is going to make our, um, our wrath burn, our jaw burn smaller, I think. But I don't know, the small size, I just look like a little cute fella. It's, it's, it's just cute. It's just all little and all small, and I like it. I think I think one thing that they did do a good job of, I will say, is um. Whoa, what's all that money come from? No, it's not actually smaller. Okay. Um, one thing they did do a good job of um is with the tainted characters, they did bring in some new and interesting parts of like the religious aspects or the stories of some of the people. Look at that little dodge I did there. Perfection itself. Um, yeah, like of course, like Samson here. His tainted version of his character does actually sort of make sense religiously with the texts of what happened with Samson's story. Samson's story, I, I honestly don't know the Bible that well, but Samson's story is one of the wackier ones. That he killed like a thousand men with a donkey's jawbone because his hair gave him strength and he tried to shave off his hair and that. I don't know, there's all sorts of crazy shit going on in that place. Um, it's it's wacky, but it's 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 good it's good read. <laughs> I do I did actually go through a phase, um I wouldn't say it's not of being religious as such, but I did go through a phase when I was younger of having to read a lot of religious text and um be involved in a lot of religious stuff because I went to a thing which sounds not great now, um, but it was called Boys Brigade. Um, which I don't. It just nowadays, that's just a terrible name. It sounds. It sounds like. It, it, I, it sounds like. I'm not even gonna say what it sounds like. You know what it sounds like. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I went to this thing, and it, it essentially it was like a like a, an after school hangout club sort of thing, or at least that's what I treat it like. But it had pr because it was hosted within a church. It was hosted by the church. Um, it had pretty heavy religious overturns of uh, basically sort of like we had what i think we had like i think it was normally like two or three hours and we had like half an hour of it which was like reading um reading parts of scripture and praying and, and stuff like that and i like no matter how much i went through of it none of it like con convinced me or anything it, it never it kind of went over my head so i didn't really pay attention to it too much because I, I was just there to play some dodgeball and games with my friends and go to the sweet shop afterwards because we had a little sweet shop. That was like the best thing about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wasn't exposed to quite a lot of it, but I never really sort of bogged down and got into much of it, I will say. It, it was never 
like I said, it's never really been my thing, especially when you're younger. You don't really, you don't really listen to it and think about. I mean, at least you might, you might if you're actually religious. But at least for me, I never really sat down and listened to it, sort of for the meaning behind the story, and kind of sat down and listened to what was being said without being said, sort of thing. Um, and th th there is, there's definitely a lot. Ooh, we got uh, one of the new planetarium bosses again, which I don't know if we're ready for, but I'll give it a go. Um, yeah. Uh, you don't you don't really think about that. Oh, we got number two for this room. We got cancer for this room. Okay, that's good. We got necrosis, which isn't a planetarium item. I think you'll find. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why that's shown up. Chance to fire clumps. Clumps leave farts on impact. Clumps kill normal enemies instantly. Uh, that sounds rather good. Yeah, I don't really know why that spawned. I'll be honest. Really, really, it went straight through you. You kidding? Seems a little unfair. I also have no idea how this guy works, so prepare for some damage. He's really cool. I'll say that. Whoa, this guy's awesome. Th these bosses are really, really well done. Now, I am, like I said, going to take some pretty bad damage because I, I just don't know what's coming with a lot of this. I don't know what a lot of this means or a lot of it is. At least we, we got cancer for this one room, which is going to save us some hits. Because I, I believe this guy probably does do full hit damage. Whoa, what the hell are these? I can destroy them, which makes me scared. He seems to do like... Whoa! What on earth is happening here? This is amazing! <laughs> what genius created this absolutely insane piece of work here? This is obscene and awesome. Yeah, this is actually incredible. Holy damn. These bosses are so cool. I want the f I want to fight these just to see these bosses. I don't give a damn about anything else. I just want to fight the bosses. By the way, this necrosis item also really nice for us. That was so damn cool. <laughs> Holy hell, that was awesome. I'm definitely going to have to put some of these guys in the thumbnails because they, they deserve to be in the thumbnails. I've also got some, um, or at least A, I wouldn't say some, that's probably uh, promising too much. But I've got some, uh, I, I, again, I'll say A, not some, stupid. I said it literally the exact same two times over. Did I thin the gap between all of those? I think I did, didn't I? Um, yeah, uh, I've got some more character overviews coming, character reviews. I got at least one I know lined up for this weekend. Uh, a new character demo dropped. It's not like the full experience because apparently the, um, the item sprites aren't done yet. But the character itself is functional, so I'm really looking forward to giving that a try out. It seems to be a character that's kind of based on some of the enemies in the game. And it's like, um, he has like a, a stone form and a tar form. I'm having a really hard time killing this guy. He's big. Really? That hit me? Really? That hit me? Ooh, hello. Thank you. That's really nice. It's also a bit harder to see when I turn red now, because I'm actually red. <laughs> I am now actually red. Oh, that necrosis thing's insane. I wonder if it scales with luck at all. It didn't say that it did. Well, it seems to be firing quite a lot of them right now, though. More fire rate definitely seems like it'll be good. While held, every enemy has a chance to drop a flesh chest on death. Don't think flesh chests are something you want to be opening right now. They're good, but not super useful. Grab that. Keep moving on. I'm not super, super uh, bothered about full clearing everything at the moment. You stole my charge, you dickens. Right before the boss as well. You've got to be kidding me, Captain. Oh, no, we got a charge. That's good. Wow. <laughs> Insta demolished. The box can be kind of good. We'll take it. Yeah, we got a sun card. I'm pretty happy with the sun card. And we get revelation as well. I guess I'll go for Mega Satan because I don't think we have Mega Satan. Okay. Yeah, Revelation is going to be a good grab for us here. It's going to be a good grab. But yeah, I'm, I'm always definitely on the lookout for more um, for more custom characters to uh, to add to the series. Def I'm, it's definitely something that I've, I'm always aware of. 
um, but it's not always something that I can really control because there has to be good enough characters out for me to want to showcase. There is definitely a few here and there that I haven't played yet that are definitely worthy, but I've not I just I've not really gotten around to them yet just because I feel like they've already been covered enough by other people, and I'm kind of like I don't really need to cover these sort of thing. Additional range would be nice, but I'm honestly really liking the advantages of the random items from Mold and Clear right now. They're doing a good job. The range would be good, though. Okay, that was close. It almost didn't kill anything then. Oop, forgot about Revelation there. Oh, I also just forgot that Revelation gives us flight. <laughs> almost really stupid. Yeah, let's, let's make sure we're using Revelation when we can, because it is very, very strong and very, very valuable. Oh, that was a really bad hit by me then, wasn't it? Terrible. Okay, this room, we can keep it going for the whole room because of the little spiders. It's actually kind of fun. We do have another room here. We have so many new rooms available to us now. It's awesome. And um, for Super Meat Boy, we have... Buglonian Superfan. Plus speed, plus luck... Props spawn in uncleared rooms and can be thrown at enemies to deal damage. That sounds like a lot of fun. For Super Meat Boy, a little bit of a harsh trade, I'll be honest, but... Sounds cool. Also, what is going on with that speed down we just got? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, no way! This is what I mean. Look at this. We got Steam Sale. For this specific room. <laughs> That's kind of incredible. We got Steam Sale for that room. That's so great. But yeah, I like the, the idea. In uncleared rooms, we get... Oh, no way! This is so cool! <laughs> That's amazing. And they have different effects as well. It's also got like a visual effect on our tears. This is awesome. Chair. Chair. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so some of the props. So chair is definitely a low value one by the looks of it, because that only gave us um, that only gave us the ability to just throw it twice. Whereas the 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 PC monitor or TV, whatever that was, was explosive. That's a high value one right there. IBS. It's annoying, but I'll take it. It can screw you over, but it also can be kind of good. But this one's just got chairs in it as well. So this'll explode, right? Yes, that's so cool. So I probably won't use it too much on things other than the explosives, I'll be honest. Because the chairs are good, but they seem kind of low damage. Angel Deal Teleport and Book of Virtues. Fantastic pickup for us. Soul Heart there as well. Refill that. Probably should get that key considering our current heart situation. We got some really intriguing stuff going on here. Grab that. Oh, it picked up the poop straight away. <laughs> That's so fun. I don't know what reference this is, I'll be honest, but I love it. I've not played whatever game it's referencing, but I love it. So good. Shoot the whoop. Should at least use it to get a mini laser. Oh, shoot the whoop with all the lasers would kind of be fun. I think Shoop the Whoop is better with all the lasers. It's going to be fun. I do like Bob's Rotten Head, but Shoop, Shoop, Shoop the Whoop. I wonder, that that's probably a, something to, to ask. How many of you know what Shoop the Whoop is in reference to? That's like an old, an old internet thing now, isn't it? Shoop the Whoop. I bet there's a lot of Isaac players that have absolutely no idea what Shoop the Whoop is referencing nowadays, which is kind of sad. It, it was a terrible little animation on YouTube and a few other places like Newgrounds and stuff, but it was it was pretty incredible. <laughs> I remember as a kid thinking it was one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. But then again, it probably was one of the first comedy um, animations that I'd ever seen too, so. Whoa! Oh, we got Kidney Stone in this room. It's getting really confused about certain items and effects that keep happening. And I'm like, oh, I remember now. I see.
Yeah, I, I like that with all the extra beams. That is fun. Going to give some items, right? You are going to give us some items. I was correct. Correcting my assumption. Thank you. I will take my leave, sir. I'll take my leave. Well, this guy looks a bit new as well. Take a TV. Oh my god, it one-shot him? <laughs> That's awesome. I can't believe they spawn in boss rooms too. Okay, that TV did nowhere near as much, unfortunately. Dude. When I try to revelation beam, don't throw a poop instead. That's not what I was hoping to see. Definitely need a fire rate up. Fire rate's not great right now. Okay, we're going dark path, right? Yes, dark path. We don't have boss rush so we can check it out. I will... No, it's gonna blow up. I will take this. This thing's this is pretty good. We, we do need to try and not lose it, which I honestly don't think is gonna be super plausible for us. Seems that using that is always going to give us our wacky stick. Unless we use it during, and it's fine. A little bit risky. Take a TV. <laughs> I love that. That's so satisfying. My goodness. Oh no, I got hit already. Get your bombs away from me, sir. There's two of you? What is this? I missed you again. Damn it. Get revelation on the case. There you go. You're still at full health? What the hell? Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay. I think I killed him, but I didn't. No, my crack crown. So I've basically taken an item that is nearly worthless, which is a little bit of a shame. Once I get hit once more, it literally was worth nothing to take it. Which I think is going to end up being the case. Damn it. Keep accidentally throwing the wrong poops at people. Cramperino, my boy. That guy dropped Krampus's head. Wasn't expecting that. Definitely not too upset. Have a chair. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Have another chair. <laughs> I killed you with a chair. That's hilarious. Now this guy is going to be problematic. Oh, I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some fat hits on me here. No, my crown's gone. This is bad. This guy, I really think he shouldn't be in boss rush in my opinion. Just because of that one attack. It's really brutal. Because it covers the entire room regardless of what you're doing. What the hell's that attack? I've never seen that one before. And that one too. That one's another one that hits the entire room. Which is just kind of egregiously annoying. Anyways, we lost all of our stat up, so I probably should have taken something that was a little more permanent, but... I don't know. I was in the mood. Our range is particularly terrible, I've just realised. I don't know what killed it so much. Was it something to do with moulding clear? Really? That didn't, even, that didn't even hit that guy? There's a TV there. Use it. Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked, boy! <laughs> that was one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. Chair! Yeah, I'm like just realizing now that my range is 
so unbelievably, unfathomably low. What happened? Why do I have 3.5 range? Stop yelling, God. You get it. You're angry. Stay down. Very much like to finish this witch. Okay, we got her. We got her. We got to be nearly over, right? Almost. Almost stood right in front of that guy at the wrong angle there. Okay, fine. Ooh, Haunt is looking very scary. We got this guy again. Coming in with his feet of fury. I wish he wasn't. And I wish he had the coming down mod activated on his feet, but... We can't have everything we want, I guess. Do you know what? What we can have is you getting destroyed by this. For uh, the briefest of moments. Maybe, maybe chair. Maybe the chair could do a good job for us. Damn you. The chair was meant to be our saviour. Come on now. Get gone. Whoa, what, where did that brimstone come from? I'm unsure. Oh, God. We threw another chair. Second to last wave, maybe. By maybe, I mean please. I don't actually know. I'm guessing and hoping. This was meant to be a fast run. Oh, it just keeps going. Dude, boss armor enemies. Oh, oh, they feel bad. Now, I, I like it, but in boss rush, it can be a little much. When, like, it's so egregiously obvious that they have boss armor over the enemy that spawned next to them that doesn't. That's when it feels a little bad. Normally, though, it doesn't really... I don't really worry about it. Oh, we got a really good item out of it too, which is another one that, that I like kind of goes along with more than clear quite nicely. We got mini bombs out of it too. I like mini bombs. We fire a mini bomb, and it does that, which of course, great, those guys blasted that right into my ass. Now we got key beggar. It rerolls that item every time we get hit if you didn't know. Dude. What is going on with my range? How long have I had range this bad? Like, look at this. It's pathetic. I can pee further than this. Don't make me chair you. Don't make me chair you. I will do it. Can I carry chair into other room? I cannot. Okay, we can't chair these guys. The eyes are in the way. No, no, I can do it. I can skill shot it. Nope. Chair. <laughs> I can be your chair, baby. I can chair away your chair. Damn it. No chair kill. No, the chair fell in the pit. How upsetting. You know, this, this room better die fast, otherwise I'm going to bomb out of it. In fact, it did die very fast, so I'm, I'm happy. We just have, like, endless throwables. IBS with this character is really bad. Dead Dove's kind of nice for flight. I think we already had flight, actually. Do we already have flight? We didn't, did we? No, we did, from Revelation. Kind of useless, then. Sweet. 
Ow. The Eucharist this time. If we can keep that for the rest of the fight, that'd be kind of nice. Doubt that's going to happen with all those bombs about there. Nope, it's gone. Oh god, we're actually going to die. I mean, this guy is eternal, but it's like... Dude, 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 dude. The speed that you're firing things out at me right now is... Bordering. I don't have the range to even hit him. I'm like, why is this taking so long? I've been killing everything so fast. Yeah, I'm, I don't have enough range to fight this guy. It's like one of the first times that's ever happened. I'm going to have to fight him with Revelation. Until I get this, then I can get in there. Whew. Little bit risky there, little bit risky. I am not doing hush on this run. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. It's not going to work. It's not for me, Jen. I also forgot my other key piece. Hell's Bells. I like that one. Uh, the, the, the fact that the hour ghost just doesn't give a shit. Just fires in whatever direction it pleases. Chair. A chair in these trying times. <gasps> a heart. That's what we need. Okay. Tinted rock as well. Nice. Chair. <laughs> that will never get old. And chair. This is an item that is unfortunately incredibly difficult to find. Because we need to have Super Meat Boy and we need to find a tinted treasure room. And we need to have no other tinted treasure room items to select from. So it specifically selects this one. So it's going to be an item that I have a feeling we won't see very often. But my god am I glad I've seen it this time. Because it is perfection slag. It is amazing. Okay, let's actually try and find the, the, the boss room now. Because we're having a, a real hard time of it, I'll be honest. I'm trying to use the TVs. Or the PC monitors, or whatever these are. Not going so hot for me. Dude, don't knock the chair out of my hand. Oh, there's a ball flying around me. I didn't, I didn't realise that. Wait, what? What? We got Epic Fetus. We got Epic Fetus for our item. That was so confusing. Oh god, every time I pick something up, it stops my Epic Fetus thing from moving properly. That's very annoying. Drop the poop, sir. Drop the poop. Just keep swimming. How did you survive all that? Whoa, whoa! What the hell? What's going on with my missiles then? That was strange. But Epic Peters is now gone. Sadly, it has perished. It was not long for this world. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, that was way too late. God damn. That's close. Oh, really? That brimstone hits? Okay, sir. Okay. I understand. Oh, we got home in this room. I forgot about that. That's rather nice. You could get a little further away from me, maybe, sir? Being small is helping out here, actually, because I can just kind of stand here. Maybe some chair in this trying time. Dude, you can't just telefrag me like that. Chair plus foot. Chair on foot action. All the chairs are gone. Oh my god, the bomb flies. Holy hell. Ah, oh, oh no. Oh, 
Okay. Health has, um, has diminished. We did manage to achieve something, though. But health has indeed diminished. Must mean we can take some of these a bit more scot-free, though. I'm going to take this one. And this one. And that'll do. We are almost dead. Thank you, Virgo. That's a Chergo. I didn't get Virgo, I got Chergo. That heart looks so good. I have to admit, I'm very lost on what's going on right now. Very lost indeed. I have been for quite some time. Stop making me hold bombs when I don't want to hold bombs, IBS. You're gonna get at me killed. I guarantee I die via IBS. On my own stupidity. One of the two. A swarm. Kind of useful. Holy, that's a lot of boys. That's a lot of chubbies. Ah, oh, no. I just get killed by getting jumped on. Either way, a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.